Ruby Rose. <laughs> I may not be the man that you want, but I'm definitely the man that you need. I check off most of those boxes, man. I'm taller, you know, I'm chocolate. You know, the, the money, Um, you know, uh, just give me a few years, okay? And, and I'll be able to check that box too, man. Let's get into the context, though. Okay, so this is a topic I wanted to talk about because these narratives have become so prevalent recently. And, you know, I, I just had to because I hear this side, I hear that side, I hear this side, I hear that side. I'm like, okay, let, let's, let's calm it down a little bit and let's summarize. But I definitely wanted to throw my two cents in there because I'm like, okay, I see where everyone is coming from and I see the, the popular trend around this shit. So I'm like, okay, let me, let me inject something that people may not be thinking about, okay? Let's get into the context. What do I really like when in a man in real life mm -hmm. is loyalty. Okay. Being loving and kind and like supportive and just, you know, somebody consistent. So those are the things that I like. That ain't all, that can't be all, like, <laughs> that can't be all of it. And like, of course there's yeah. some other things Come I like. Them. Okay, um, my preferences are chocolate, tall. Okay. So just from that first part of uh, first part of that video, okay, there's a little bit more, but I want to discuss that first part. I read the comments, right, and I'm like, this is so freaking crazy and ironic, but funny, because her just listing out her preferences. It wasn't nothing to me. It wasn't nothing crazy. Of course, there's always gonna be somebody out there that's upset by that, cause uh, why well, he gotta be taller than you? Why well, he gotta? Uh, okay, blah blah blah, whatever. I don't find that. Uh, that point uh, upsetting like that don't upset me but there's always gonna be people out there who's upset by that but my main thing is this it's crazy <laughs> women could list out their preferences like and be so upfront about that shit I, I don't I'm not on tinder anymore but when I was on that shit the amount of preferences a lot of these women had I'm like yo I'm like yo <laughs> like y'all want y'all want that guy from um Beauty and the Beast. Well, I don't know his name, but y'all want that. Y'all want that. He gotta be ripped. He gotta be shredded. He gotta be damn near seven foot. You know what I'm saying? They want all of that, right? It's perfectly fine, and it's widely accepted in in the media and in the pop culture and shit like that. It's widely accepted for women to list out their preferences, and there be no issues with that. She didn't say nothing crazy. Okay, she wants a man that's chocolate tall, makes more money than her. That's all fine and dandy, okay? No issues with that for me. Some people may find an issue. I don't find no issues with that. I don't care. That's no big deal. That's actually minor compared to some of the other shit people be talking. Some of the other shit women be wanting. But let a man say, and this is what I'm talking about. This is the double standard. This is the craziness that be happening within pop culture and popular media and shit. Let a man say he wants a woman that's chocolate, uh, shorter than him don't weigh as much and you know and let and let and let this is the biggest key right here let that man say he wants a woman that's submissive the, uh, the, that ruby rose wants a man that's um supportive let a man say he wants a woman that's submissive look at the backlash and insert pending backlash bro insert impending backlash bro the amount of backlash that's gonna come from that shit is gonna be astounding but that's my point like it, it's so crazy but it's so widely accepted for women to have or to be able to list out all of their preferences all of their standards this and that and just list it out with no uh care in the world and no backlash from people let a man say half of that oh he's misogynistic oh he's colorist oh he don't like dark-skinned black women oh you know <laughs> you know all of that shit is pending all of that shit is coming bro perfect example with cam newton i did a video on that make sure i go check that out cam newton just said he uh the woman that he's with has to be able to cook has to be able to you know be quiet look at look at the the different responses that was brought out from that from what cam newton said compared to what ruby rose just said that's that's it right there look at just look at the double standard okay just want y'all to, to know that now let's get into the rest of it 
preferably more money than me. Pre preferably. Um, <laughs> what if they don't? If they don't, we can we can work it out. Okay. We can work it but out. But it has to be somewhere in the immediate vicinity. I would somewhere hope close. because like I don't like. I will help, of course, but like I don't want to be the man in the, the relationship. Yeah, yeah, no. But I will. I see Nicki Minaj is happy. I will definitely. Ugh. I will do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> she's just, she's just, we're, we're assuming you know, that Nicki probably. But first of all, Nicki Minaj's name didn't even really have to be mentioned there. She could have been a lot more general with that statement. She could have just been like, I see there's some women out there who make more money than their partner, their guy, their man that they're with, and they're happy, and it's a successful relationship. End of statement right there, okay? That could have been what was said, but you already know when you mention Nicki Minaj's name, it is not, and it's not something positive, which a lot of the times it is. You already know the Nicki Minaj coalition comes jumping at you for whatever reason. But let's get into the, the real crux of this shit, okay? Now, if y'all notice, right? And this is something I started to realize after, you know, doing these videos and shit like that. When you watch certain people, just look at their body language and like just read the room a little bit. You see how when she was mentioning how she don't want her man, like the, the money topic, you see how she kind of scrunched back in her seat? You see how uncomfortable it was for her to talk about that? Um, preferably more money than me. Pre preferably. Um, <laughs> what if they don't? If they don't, we can we can work it out. Okay. We can work it but out. But it has to be somewhere in the immediate vicinity. I would oh hope God. because like I don't like I will help of course but like I don't want to be the man in the relationship. Cause she already know a lot of the backlash that would come from from that statement right there from a woman saying she wants a man that makes more money than her is a little uncomfortable uncomfortable for her to say that. But the real thing about that is a lot of women, it goes back to the traditional way. A lot of women want their partner their man their husband whatever the case is to make more money than them it's a little bit uncomfortable to say because a lot of guys out there is it's comfortable making pennies and while their woman is making more money than them listen a lot of women don't like making more money than their man now it's, it's of course it's outliers you know those rich ass women out there when we're not talking about it we're talking about the, the average you know middle class people they the woman is not always comfortable with making more money than their men. A lot of women could be satisfied with it though. Like a lot of women could be like, okay, I make more money than my husband. Uh, he's doing what he gotta do. I'm doing what I gotta do. Okay, let's, I'll accept this narrative right here. I'll accept this dynamic and that's okay. But I'm not gonna front when it comes to my people and my women, it's a big ass problem if they make more money than their men. And you see how she said we could work it out. You see how she said that, right? That, that always follows when the woman says she don't like making more money than her man it always follows oh we can work it out though you know because they're not comfortable with that they're never comfortable with being the man in a relationship you see how she said that too and all of these words you gotta you gotta start paying attention to and pay attention to the body language like i said look how she scrunched back up into her seat you know what i'm saying she wasn't comfortable with that and she's not comfortable with making more money than her man my main point is you see the double standards though the comments on this post right here compared to the post cam newton said and cam newton didn't even say oh she gotta be dark skin or she gotta be light skin i should i should say oh she gotta weigh a little bit she gotta she he ain't say nothing along those lines all he said was she gotta be able to cook and be able to to know when to be quiet and look at the different reactions that came from that compared to what ruby rose said <laughs> what, what society are we living in bro i just wanted to point that out i like me some ruby rose though she's very attractive but just her saying that it, it's just crazy and it blatantly points out the double standard but i love it <laughs> i love it though what that should be all the more reason for guys out there you know you know if y'all want some <laughs> advice some consultation book me okay but that should be all the more evidence you need to start doing what you gotta do you know Make make sure you're making more money than your woman because she's not a lot of the time she's not gonna be comfortable with that. You know what I'm saying? If I made it to the end of the video, I really appreciate it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, click the link in my description, book a consultation with me. Any advice you want, any advice you need, man. You know, more videos coming soon. Ah! <laughs>